Well, good morning, good morning, good morning. Well, this is the day that the Lord has made. We are rejoicing and we're glad therein. I'm so grateful, so appreciative uh, for yet another opportunity to be able to come together as the people of God, as the family of God, to be able to call on the name of the Lord, you know, where we can pray, uh, where we can be able to go before the throne of grace, that we can obtain mercy and find grace to help us um, in the time of need. Um, thank you so much for your faithfulness and your commitment to this time, to this moment. Uh, this is um, the strength of our ministry. The strength of our ministry um, is prayer. Um, the backbone of our ministry is prayer. Um, God told me before we ever launched, before we had ever one Bible study, before we had one service, before we've done anything as a ministry, that the backs of our ministry is going to be built on the backs of prayer and soul winning. Um, and it's been prayer, uh, man, that has been um, the consistent thing from day one all the way up until this moment. Um, our ministry is laced with prayer. Um, and and sometimes people um, say say that, say they say that, uh, man, y'all some praying people and man, those types of things. But I don't look at it as a knock. I look at it as a, a compliment that we that we we pray and we pray and we pray because that shows our our dependency. That shows that no matter how um, how how nice um, we have of this and how well we do this and how intentional we are on that, man, we need to pray and we need God's presence uh, to 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 help us um, to be with us and and that needs to be our desire as individuals, not just corporately, uh, but as individuals that we're totally dependent upon our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. Um, that song I was playing always makes me be mindful of and, and thankful and uh, be grateful um, of the that sacrifice that Jesus Christ uh, made for us over 2,000 years ago. Man, I don't know about you, but I am so thankful for his blood um, that has washed me. And as the name of this, the name of the song is just simply clean. Um, and, and yes, yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. Um, the blood of Jesus Christ has made us clean where we were, we were dirty, uh, but he made us clean. Uh, we were filthy, but he made us clean. We were unworthy, but he made us clean. And that is the, the power of the blood of Jesus Christ, the efficacious blood, which simply means it just never, it never loses its power. It's, it's just as powerful today as it was um, when they when they nailed him in his hands and in his feet. And that blood that was spilled over 2,000 years ago, it never loses its power. So, Father, we thank you. We give you all of the praise. We give you all of the glory. We give you all of the honor. For this is the day that you made, the day that we are rejoicing, and the day that we are glad therein. We thank you uh, for uh, who you are. We thank you um, for all that you've done. Uh, we thank you for all that you're going to do. Uh, we come to you this morning, God, because you are you are our Savior. Uh, we come to you this morning because you are you are our friend forever. Uh, we come to you, God, because oftentimes we don't know where else to go. We don't know who else to talk to. Uh, but we thank you that we can come to you. Uh, we thank you, God, where we can come humbly but boldly before your throne of grace and we can obtain mercy and find grace to help us in the time of need. We thank you, God, that where we can come to you when we're weary, uh, when we're tired, uh, when we're afflicted, when we uh, have issues, when we have problems, when we are disappointed, when we're angry, when we're upset, when we're sad, when we're grieving. Uh, we can come to you uh, no matter what emotions uh, we are experiencing. God, we thank you that we can come to you. I pray, God, that that will be developed in the hearts and the minds of your people, um, in particular, the people of God that are connected to our local church. I pray, God, that we will know that in the times of crises, in the times of dilemmas, in the time of trauma, um, God, that where we can come to you, um, all of us have situations, all of us have um, seasons and circumstances where things are very difficult. All of us have um, ups and downs and, and things that cause us to feel 
Oh, man, God, where are you? All of us have seasons where we're like, God, we need you like yesterday. We need you to, uh, to, to, to refresh and to revive and to renew and all of those things. Uh, but God, when we're experiencing those things, God, we, we pray right now in the name of Jesus that all of us from the person that's facilitating this prayer all the way to the person that's the last person that's going to chime in this morning. We pray that all of us will get to a place, God, where we could come to you. You told us in your word uh, that we can be able to cast our cares on you for you care for us. We we, we quote that. We say that, um, but God, we really want to embody that, God, where we can be able to cast all of our cares and all of our concerns on you. Uh, we're worrying and we're we're nervous and we're upset and we're uh, we're, we're trying to uh, control and trying to manipulate the situations. Uh, but yet, God, you you gave us an out. You gave us an exit. You gave us, God, uh, a release valve. You said that if I would come to you and I would cast my cares on you, you'll you'll care for me. You'll take care of it. Uh, we won't have to worry about it. We won't have to be stressed about it. We don't have to uh, have all that angst and all that nervousness if we would cast our cares. And that's what we do this morning right now in the name of Jesus. I don't know what all of the cares are. I can't name every emotion. I can't name every trial. I can't name every circumstance. Uh, but God, I can uh, classify it the way that you classified it. You put it all in a bucket and you called it care. <laughs> that, that That's what you called it. You called it care. And so whatever that care is, whether that is relationally, whether that's financially, whether that's mentally, whether that's uh, emotionally, Emotionally, make no difference what the care is. Uh, we we bring it to you. Whatever it is that's on our heart, whatever it is that has us weighted down, whatever it is that have us burdened down, uh, you classified it as care. So right now, in the name of Jesus, I know that everyone under the sound of my voice has some care, and God, we 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 take that care. Uh, we 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 bring it to the forefront of our mind. We take that care, and we uh, and we we bring it into our heart. We we take that care, and we don't we don't allow this part of the prayer. Uh, to be for somebody else. We don't allow this part of the prayer to be for, or, 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 or he's talking to somebody else. So this is not for me. No, it's, it's this part of the prayer is for, for everybody, God, because we, we all have care and, and whatever that care may be, whatever that thing is, what, uh, whoever that thing is, what, 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 whatever it may be, uh, we, we, we take it right now, God, and we, and we, we bring it to the forefronts of our mind and we, and we come and we, we cast it to you is what the scripture says. We ought to cast it to you. It literally means to hurl. It literally means to throw with all of our strength and with all of our might, with all of our intensity. The picture is like the Olympics with that 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 disc um, game where the where the, the participant takes that disc and 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 spins and spins and spins and spins and spins and, spins and then and then releases it. That's what that's what uh, we given our care looks like. We're supposed to take it with all of our strength and all of our might, and we're supposed to throw it on you. We're supposed to hurl it on you. And, and we pray, God, that we can do that right now in the name of Jesus. I, I've learned, God, that, that some 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 folk just like to worry. Some, some folk just like to be all in the mix and all in the mingle of, of things. Uh, but right now, in the name of Jesus, we, we 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 remove ourselves from situations, God, and we and we cast our cares on you. We don't we don't want to deal with the drama. We don't want to deal with the the issue. We don't want to deal with as relates to as relates to wanting to be in it. Uh, uh, and some, some, sometimes, God, we can, uh, again, the quote from um, Peter Scazzaro says that we can, sometimes we can limp so long, God, that what we think that's our normal walk. Sometimes, God, we can be uh, going through so long that we just kind of addicted to pain. We kind of addicted to hurt. We kind of addicted to uh, being the victim, kind of addicted to being the center of attention and addicted to our our, our mat, uh, to our condition. Uh, as, as the scripture tells us over and over again, even the brother in John chapter five that we're studying on Sunday, on Thursdays, rather, John chapter five, Jesus told him to, to get up. And Jesus told him, take, take up your bed and walk. Take up your mat and walk. And sometimes, God, we just kind of get, get used to that mat. We get used to that uh, that security blanket. We get used to um, that thing that's been carrying us. Uh, sometimes we just get used to it. And sometimes we just don't, don't know how to get out of the drama. We don't know how to get out of the mess. We don't know how to get out of that. But, God, right now in the name of Jesus, you've given all of us an out. You've given us all, God, an opportunity to cast our care on you, God, because 
because you care for us. We give your name the glory for it now. We give your name the honor and the praise that the way you 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 think enough of us to care about us. You think about you think about you you think enough of us to be able to give us an opportunity, God, to be able uh, to give you our burden. What kind of God is this? The way you are the God of the universe. You create everything. You know everything. You have everything, but yet and still you desire to take away the the minuscule things that bother us. The the small things that bother us. It's like unto our children. Our children uh, may, be, may be searching around frantically for a toy or searching around frantically for for, for, for a, a tablet or, or something that they, they hold near and dear, something that's so valuable to them that just simply just invaluable to us. It's just a little car. It's just a little doll. It's just it's just something that's minuscule. It's something that is that's 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 replaceable. It's something that, that doesn't amount to anything but, but in our eyes. But to them, it is it is it is the world. To them, it's, it's their blanket. To them, it's their it's their toy. It's what they want. It's what they're looking for. And God, I can only imagine um, in, in, a, in a in a in a similar way. I can only imagine how how minuscule our problems look and how our bills look to you. How our situation look to you. How our stress points look to you. And they're minuscule, but yet and still, you care for us enough to be able to get involved in our lives. You. You care enough for us to be able to to say, you know what, I want it, I want to, I want to be your burden bearer. I desire to be your heavy load sharer. And we pray right now in the name of Jesus, God, that we'll take full advantage of that. There's no reason for us to be depressed. There's no reason for us to be in a dark space. There's no reason for us to be in a place where, 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 where we don't know where no relief is, where we don't, where we, where we're in a dry place, as the psalmist says. It's a real, it's a real thing. It's real that we have dry places. It's real that we have dark places. It's real that we have, uh, stressful seasons. It's real that we have seasons where it seems like the cares of life are choking us but God at the same time you have you have instructed us God that where that where there's there's no reason for us to stay though in those places uh, as the psalmist said we're in the dry and the thirsty land where there is no water uh, but God we we know that we can come to you God and you'll give us the refreshing that we need we we know we can come to you God and you'll give us uh the the, the water that we need the 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 the, the nutrients that we need God we know we can come to you and God, you give us everything that that we need and everything that pertains to life and godliness. God, you have you you will and you have given it to us, and we thank you for it in the name of Jesus. So where we it, it makes no it makes no there's no reason why we should be in a dry place. It makes no reason why we should stay perpetually in a dry place. But God, we come to you right now and we ask you, God, that, that give us God what it is that we need for all of our dryness and give us what it is that we need in those areas in our life, God, that where it seems as if God that that is is dry and it's stale and it's dead and it's and it's and it just it's void. We pray right now in the name of Jesus, God, the way you will you'll give it to us, like you gave that woman at the well. You you said if you drink this water that I have, you'll never thirst again. And God, that's what we're longing for. God, we're longing for you to satisfy us. We're longing for you, God, to fulfill us. We're longing for you, God, to give us what it is that we need. That we don't have to look anywhere else. We don't have to turn anywhere else. We're not to go anywhere else. We're longing, God, for you to satisfy us in such a way, God, that we don't need any substances. We don't need any smoke. We don't need any drink. We don't need any extracurricular activity. We're longing for you to satisfy us in that way, God, that we don't need it. We don't need to try to indulge in the practices of the world. The world has practices. The world has things that it, that, it, that the world does to bring them comfort and to bring them, uh, to bring them uh, peace and to bring them joy and to bring them fulfillment. The world has all those things and what that's what the world looks for and longs for. But right now in the name of Jesus, that should not be our portion. Right now in the name of Jesus, that is not our, that is not our lot. Right now in the name of Jesus, that is not what it is. That's not what it is that, that, that we need. We don't, we don't need that. No, God, we, we have you. And God, you are our, uh, our, our satisfaction. You are what it is, God, that fulfills us. In fact, you told us in, in, in Psalm, the Psalm, the Psalmist told us this, that with, with long life, will you, will you satisfy us and you'll, you'll continue to show us your salvation. With, with, with long life, you're gonna, you're gonna satisfy us with life, with that, that Zoe. That's that God kind of life. Not just, not just 
bios, not just living, not just existing, not just coughing and breathing and sneezing. No, that's just the mundane life. That's just the routine life. That's just going through the motions. That's just waking up and going to work and going to bed and waking up and going. That, that's a, that's the hamster wheel type of life. But no, God, you've given us, God, abundant life. You told us, God, that you, that you desire to give us abundant life, life and it more abundantly. We thank you, God, that you give, you've given us, um, overcoming life. You've given us, um, a, a bounding life. You've given us, God, triumphant life. And we thank you for it in the name of Jesus, God, that we're not just going through the motions. We're not just, we're not just putting time on the book. We're not just, we're not just coasting and hanging on for dear life. But no, God, we're, we're in a place, God, that where we are, we're looking to you and we're trusting you, God. And we're, and we're walking with you, God, in abundance. And we're walking with you in a, in a life, God, that where, that where we are, we're, 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 we, we got the victory and we're not, we're not just, we're not just going through just to go through, but we, we, we thank you for, for the life, God, that only comes in you. You said we, we, we've long life, God, abundant life, but you, will you satisfy us? And God, that's what we desire, God. We want to be satisfied. We, we, we tired of being all nervous, God. We want to be satisfied. We're tired of worrying about everything. We want to be satisfied. We're tired of God, uh, we're tired of, uh, be, being, being in the mess and being in the drama, God. We want to be, we want to be satisfied. We're, we're tired of going back to the things, God, that, that we know that you delivered us from and the things that we know, God, that you snatched us out of. We, we, we want to be satisfied. We don't want to keep going back. As Peter said, like the dog returning back to his vomit. We don't want to keep going back to that thing, God, that you take, that you taken away from us. That thing that you delivered us from. That thing that you snatched us out of. We don't want to go back, but we want to be satisfied with you. And God, we pray right now in the name of Jesus, God, that where we'll find that type of satisfaction. That's what we were talking about Sunday. Here's the biblical word of just contentment. God, that where we are content with just you. We are, we are, we are fulfilled with just you. We are, we are happy with just you. We got, we got joy, God, just because of you, God, because you are, you are our strength, God. When, 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 when you are, when you are our joy, when you are our rock, God, when you are, when you are the, the, the sustainer, God, and you are the lifter of our hung down head and you are the encourager of our heart and you are you are all of that god you you satisfy us and God, you said in that same psalm, not only with, with long life will you satisfy us, but you're going to show us your salvation. And, and, and God, we understand that salvation is a process. Salvation is not an event, but salvation is a process, God, that you, that you have saved us, God, and you are saving us. And then one day you will save us, God. You've already shown us your salvation, but God, you're going to show us salvation again. Uh, that word there, just deliverer, God, you're going to deliver us again. And you're going, you brought us out, God, but you're bringing us out, God. You, you saved us, God, but you're saving us, God. You, 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 you've done a work, God, but you're doing a work. God, we thank you for that. We thank you, uh, for, for what it is that you're doing. And we thank you, God. We're, we're confident, as, as Paul said in Philippians 1 and 6, we're confident in this very thing that the one that had begun this work in us, God, you're able also to perform it. Thank you for not just, uh, not just bringing us out, but, but not just, but, but you are, not, thank you for not just uh, for for not, not just uh, to the point the way you have brought us out, but God, you are bringing us out. Thank you, God, the way it's not the fact, God, that you have delivered us, but God, you are delivering us. God, it is a process, and we thank you for it. In the name of Jesus, show us your salvation. There's somebody on this prayer call right now. In the name of Jesus, they need you, God, to, to, to show them your salvation. God, they need you, God, to show up again. They need you, God, to to show up in a real way, to show up in a fresh way, to show up in, in, a, in, a, in a supernatural way. And God, they need your deliverance. They don't know where to go. They don't know where to turn. But God, we can come to you, God, because if you don't help, there won't be any deliverance. If you don't help, God, there won't be any salvation. If you don't help, God, there won't be any, there won't be any miracle. If you don't show up, then God, it won't be done. God, if you don't answer, God, nothing will happen. But God, we pray right now in the name of Jesus, God, that you will show up and God, you'll show your salvation. God, the way you'll be able to heal their body, God, in every area that needs to be healed, uh, and every and, and from from the crown of their head to the sole of their feet. We thank you for being Jehovah Rapha. We thank you for being the God that heals. We thank you for being the God that delivers. God, there's somebody need you uh, to, to, to show up in that way, God, to be that healer, to take away that pain, to take away that discomfort, uh, God. Regardless of what the tests say and regardless of what the doctors say, God, we thank you, God, that you are our healer and you are our deliverer. 
deliverer. And we ask you, God, to show your salvation. Somebody needs you, God, in a way, God, financially, like never before. Right now, in the name of Jesus, God, they got more month than they got money, God. They got they got more, more, more bills, God, than they got anything. They got more outgo than they got income. But right now, in the name of Jesus, God, whenever it is that we're trusting you, God, with our finances, when we're trusting you with our resources, when we're trusting you and giving you a dime out of every dollar, we know, God, that you're going to come through and you so gracious and so merciful, even when we're not doing what we're supposed to do, God, you will still come through for us. And I ask you, to come through God and to deliver right now in the name of Jesus. Somebody don't know what they're going to do when it comes down to, to something that was due on the first. They had something that was due on the first and something that would do at the beginning of the month. And now here we are toward, heading towards the, the end of the month and getting still is it, it, not taken care of. But I pray right now in the name of Jesus, God, that well, you will supernaturally, you'll take care of it. That you will supernaturally make a way out of no way. That you will supernaturally, God, give them, a, um, give them enough and more more than enough. Right now, in the name of Jesus, God, that we're not worried about, God, our, our bills, and we're not worried about how we're going to survive, but God, you're going to you're gonna take care of it. You, we're not worried about where we're going to live, and where we're going to stay, and where we're going to where we're gonna be at with our family, but God, we pray, God, that you'll always uh, have a roof over our head. We'll always have shelter. We'll always have a place of our own, God, a, a Rehoboth, and I pray right now, in the name of Jesus, someone needs a Rehoboth. That, that's what that's what. Jacob said when Jacob finally found a place for him and his family he says that the Lord has made room for us and he called it Rehoboth and God I pray right now in the name of Jesus you'll make room for a family right now that you'll make room God for for, for your people you'll make room God for, for that mother and, their, and, and her children you'll make room God for, for, for that husband and that wife you'll make room God for, for, the, for, the, for those for, for, the, for the entire family you'll, you'll, you'll make room God for, for from the beginning to the end to the top to the bottom you whatever however socially our family is constructed we thank you god that where you're making room some somebody somebody needs a place god somebody needs some somewhere to go somebody needs a place to call their own god i pray god that you'll you'll be rehoboth and somebody needs a, a bigger place their family is growing and they're, they're just out of room and and, and the, maybe the place that they're living is not uh, not up to par maybe maybe the roof is bad or maybe the the floor is leaking and the plumbing is bad and this is going on and that's going on god we pray, God, that you'll be Rehoboth. Man. Maybe someone's in a an apartment complex, God. It's not the, the 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 right place to be when it comes down to the neighborhood or not conducive to raising children. And it, and it's a little 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 suspect neighbors and this going on and that's going on. But but God, we pray, God, that you'll that you'll cause them to have a Rehoboth, that you'll make room for them, God. Somebody needs you in an employment. Somebody needs you as it relates to a, a job. They they need they need they need they need they, they, they kind of working a dead end job or don't have a job at all. God, we pray, God, that you'll, you'll, you'll supply for them, God, and be uh, a place of uh, Rehoboth, uh, that you'll make room for them, God, for, for employment. You'll make room for them when it comes down to a career. You'll make room for them, God, that where they'll be able to, 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 to be able to help, to be able to take care of their family and to be able to do what needs to be done. We know that our job and we know that our checks, God, are, is not our source. You are our source, but you allow those things, God, to be a resource for us and we pray, God, that you'll do it only as you can and only as you, God, because you're, you're that kind of God. You're able to do so. And we ask you to do what only you can. Thank you, God, the way we can come to you in difficult times and dark times and challenging times. And we can know, God, that you're going to do it. And God, we thank you for it right now in the name of Jesus as we're praying, even as, as a local church, God, we're praying. God, that we'll be able to walk in the spirit of perpetual forgiveness. And God, we pray, God, that we will be able to get to this place and I'll walk with you. And we'll get to this place, God, in our, in our, in our, in our, in our, in our maturity and in our development, God, that where we can be able to walk in forgiveness. We, we, we talk about forgiveness and we pray about forgiveness and we, we preach about forgiveness and we, and we, and we, and we, and the only reason why we're in a relationship with you, God, is because you have forgiven us. Uh, but oftentimes, God, when it comes to someone offending us and when it comes down to someone uh coming up against us oftentimes we we we, we our, our confession is not does not match what we possess we we confess one thing but we don't possess it god we pray right now in the name of jesus that all of us god will graduate when it comes to the area of forgiveness that all of us sure we all we all get offended and sure we all have things that that happen and things that transpire and all of us have situations that jump off that cause us to be angry 
angry and upset and to be frustrated and to, and to feel violated and to feel uh, taken advantage of and all those emotions, God, we, we can call. But but at the end of the day, God, we, we, we're called to walk in the fence and, 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 be, and we're called to walk in forgiveness. And we pray right now in the name of Jesus, God, that we will, we'll, we'll get to that place and we won't, we won't qualify our hurt. Even as I'm praying now, somebody's qualifying their hurt. If they, if they, if they still own, they probably will hang up right about now as we praying about this forgiveness because we think if we run from it, if we cut it off, if we turn it off, if we, if we silence it, that we, we won't have to do it and we don't have to, we don't have to, we don't have to come up to it. And that's, that's just as silly as it could be. Like we can run from you. We can't run from you, God. We can't run from your word. We can, we're only making things worse. We're only going to, going to complicate the situation. We're only going to get further entrenched. We're only going to further and further like quicksand. The more we struggle, the more that we try to get out, the, the, the more entangled we're going to be, the more, the more we're going to get sucked in. And I pray right now in the name of Jesus, everyone who tries to cut this off and everyone that tries to sidestep this and try to ignore this, I pray God that you'll bring a conviction on us all, God, that where we won't let this be for somebody else, but no God, we, we will walk in forgiveness and we will walk in the place where we won't qualify why we're hurt and we won't qualify and protect our feelings and protect our emotions and say, well, I'm hurt because of this and because this person did this and because they did that and because this happened and that happened and all of that. No, God, it all goes under the same umbrella of forgiveness. We got to forgive. We got to let it go. We got to get to a place, God, to where we, 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 we look at our relationship, God, in comparison to our relationship with you. All the times we hurt you, all the times we can't win against your word and all the times, God, that we let you down and all the times we've done all the things that we've done. But God, you keep on forgiving and you keep on washing. Help us, Lord, to erase our scoreboard. Some of us are some of the most score keeping as people. God, we, we, we ought to work for the Olympics or something to keep some scores. And we ought to, we ought to just go down and volunteer our time, God, in, in the local YMCA for some basketball games and football games. And we're just anointed to keep score. This person got one more time. They've done, now they did this two times. Now they did this three times. And now they got one more time. You, shame on, if you fool me once, shame on you. And fool me twice, shame on me and all those things we say and how we live we keep skull on folk and god we got to let things go and that and all we're doing is just setting ourselves up for anger and for more hurt and god we got to stop keeping score especially as it relates in our marriage I'm, I'm not even talking about marriage i'm just talking about just in general but especially in marriage god we keep score on one another but we pray right now in the name of jesus god that we're that we're, we will we will walk in perpetual forgiveness that we will have a heart and a mind and the desire god to want to forgive and to want to let things go in the name of Jesus. We, we desire him. Not to go to a place and to be in the place, God, to where, to where we, we are simply, we're simply letting things go and we're, 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 we're dealing with things as they come. We're, we're not going to, we're not going to harbor them. We're not going to hold on to them. We're not going to allow things to become a stronghold. But God, we're going to let these things go. God, because you've given us the power and the grace and the ability and the anointing to do so. We are praying, God, that we'll be able to break the, the back of petty offense. And God, we, we, we just have to back, we just have to be the Deliver from this, God, but but we, we we keep getting pulled back. We keep going back. We keep looking back. We keep allowing ourselves to be offended over things, uh, things that, that, that don't mean to anything, God. Things that where it's just it, it, the person didn't even mean what was going on. I'm, we're reading into things and looking into things, and we're and, and maybe they did they knew what they were doing and knew how they were doing, but at the same time, God, we you've been too good to us for us to be we be walking around, God, holding on to things and 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 just. Like, Allowing every little situation that, that caused us to be all out of sorts and just to be all discombobulated. Now we, now we're talking about we, we, especially in the body of Christ or the family of God. We, we saying, oh, we don't want to be connected no more, and we don't want to go no more, and we don't want to. That's why folk don't go to church, and I don't want to do this, and I don't want to bother, be bothered with people, and all these things. God, we got this time out for this. God, I don't know, I don't know about the people of God, but I know God for me. God, it is, it is frustrating for us to keep on. 
on going through the same things over and over and over again when it comes down to our lack of forgiving one another, our lack of loving one another, our lack, God, of just being offended over every little thing. We pray right now in the name of Jesus that your people, God, will be mature and your people will get to the place, God, that where we will we will love you and we will honor you and God, we will deal with the situations as they come. We don't have any perfect relationships. There are no perfect marriages. There are no perfect churches. There are, there are no perfect friendships. There's no per there's none of that is perfect. But God, we can deal with situations as they come and not allow things, God, to cripple us and to hinder us and to stop us, God, especially in our marriages and especially as the people of God. We will not allow these petty things, God, to stop us and the, the and the and the stymate God and the, and to cause us to to not grow and not develop, God, and not mature and to be the people of God. We thank you for it in the name of Jesus because you're doing it in our marriages. We pray for all of our marriages, God, the way you will touch our marriages, that we'll have kingdom marriages, God, the way we will we will model for the world and we'll model for everyone, God, what it looks like, God, to love and to forgive and to love and to forgive and to love and to forgive and to serve one another, God, and to, and just simply, God, be, be, be a witness, God, the way we can be able to model to the world what what our relationship with you looks like. That's what marriage is supposed is designed to be. It's designed to show what the what what the relationship between you and your church is, is supposed to look like. So God, we pray right now in the name of Jesus that we will model that. God, that where we will embody that, and where we will just love our spouses, forgive our spouses, serve our spouses, and do what we need to do. Thank you, God, for doing it in our singleness. God, that where we while we're single, while we're in this unique spot, while we're in this whole place, God, that where we are, that where we are, we are, we're dealing with our hearts and we're dealing with our minds and the place, God, that where, that where we'll learn and that we'll be in a place when it's time, when it's our time, if that be your will, when it's our time, we won't be harboring, uh, unforgiveness and harboring issues and harboring things, but God, we'll, we'll be able to deal with things and release things and let things go. And maybe the person that you hook us up with, they may not be, they may not have graduated this, in this area. They, they may not have submitted themselves to this type of this type these types of prayers and, and this type of word and this type of culture uh, but and we'll be able to help them when it comes we won't let them pull us down and, and to be petty and to, and to, and to get into all of these things and to be unforgiving and the and the hatred and the, and the bitterness and the anger and all that no 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 we'll pull them up we'll level them up to say no 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 we gotta let this go no no we got to talk about this and god we, we can only get there as a couple of, if, if we get there god as individuals Individuals first. So I pray, God, for, for the individuals. I pray for the singles, God, as we talked about this past Sunday. It's not a death sentence, but God, it is a place, God, that where you are, you uniquely put us, God, that where we can be able to be everything that you designed for us to be. We thank you for our children, our babies. We ask you to cover them and be with them, God, as only you can. We pray, God, that you will keep your hedge of protection around our children, keep them from all hurt, harm, danger, incidents, and accidents right now in the name of Jesus. We pray, God, that you'll just be with them, God, and and protect them, God, while they're at school and protect them while they're their extracurricular activities and protect them when they're with their friends and protect our grown children, God, the ones that's grown and gone. We pray, God, that you'll protect them, those that we've taught them and we've trained them and we pray for them, God, but they're out there doing their own thing. They're living their best life. But God, we pray right now in the name of Jesus that you'll cover them, God, in their folly and their foolishness and all the things that they do. We pray, God, that you'll be with them. And God, you'll protect them, God, and you'll, you'll, you'll provide for them, God, as only you can. We thank you for it in the name of Jesus. We thank you, God, for all of our, our business owners. For, for whatever reason, you are flashing them on my mind. I pray for all of our business owners and all of our entrepreneurs and all of our individuals that do what they do and they're, they're grinding and they're working and they're, they're, they're doing this type of business and that type of business. I pray, God, that you'll breathe on them, God, and you will, you'll, 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 you'll cause, uh, uh, the, the work of their hands to prosper. I pray, God, that you'll be with them every step of the way and you'll open up doors for them that no man can shut and you'll close doors, God, that, that no man can open. Let them be in your perfect will. Whatever it is that they do and however it is that they do it, God, I pray, God, that you'll just be with them according to your plan and your purpose, God. And I thank you for it in the name of Jesus. I thank you for Truth and Love Ministries for everything that you're doing in our local church. It's what you're doing in our local church, God. It's what you're doing in our 
individual lives. If we, if, if we as individuals are weak, if we as individuals, God, are flaky, if we, if we as individuals are up and down and in and out, then God, that's how, that's going to be, that's how the local church is going to be, God. But you're calling us to be strong and you're calling us, God, to be empowered and you're calling us, God, to be refreshed and you're calling us to be revived, God. And that's what type of church we're going to have. We're going to have a strong church, a healthy church, God, a church that's bent on glorifying you and magnifying you and connecting people to you and connecting people to the purpose that you gave them and connecting our church to the community. That's what you've given, Truth and Love Ministries. Thank you for the vision that you've given us. And we know it's coming to pass, God. It's coming to pass. We see it unfolding. We see it unveiling, unveiling God, and it's coming to pass. And we thank you for it in the name of Jesus that we got resource enough, that we got facility enough, God, that we got everything that we need as it pertains, God, to life and godliness and as it pertains to what we need in the natural. We need more room in, in the natural. So we thank you, God, that we're, we got classrooms enough. We thank you, God, that we got sanctuary space enough. We thank you, God, that we got outreach facility enough. We thank you, God, that we got computer labs and game rooms and everything that we need, God, to be able to do ministry uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, everything that we need for full service ministry. We thank you that we got it, God. We see it unfolding. We see it coming. We see it coming down the pipe. And God, we know that it's coming and you're doing it according to your plan and your purpose and your timing. And God, we thank you for it in the name of Jesus. I thank you for my family. Thank you for my wife. I thank you for Lady Camilla Jean Nesbitt. I ask you to continue to touch her and strengthen her and heal her. I ask you to continue, God, to allow the word of the Lord that you put down in our mouth, God, to continue uh, to bless your people and be with your people and, God, to do what only you can according to your plan and your purpose for her life. Thank you for her healing and thank you for all that you've done and all that you're going to do. I thank you for Ashari and thank you for Kendall and thank you for Carson. Thank you for C4. I thank you for all of my children, God, that you'll continue to be with them. And God, you will not allow the enemy to see his desire on their lives. Satan, the Lord rebuke you. The blood of Jesus be against you over my children, over every child is represented on this call. We thank you, God, that they're going to be madly in love with you. They're going to serve you. They're going to honor you. They're going to worship you. And God, they're going to give you the very best that they have, God, because you gave us um, your very best. And we thank you in advance, God, because we know that you're going to do it and you've already done it. And God, this is the confidence that we have in you. If we ask anything of according to your will. God, you said we can have it. And we thank you in advance because we know it's already done. In Jesus' matchless name, amen, amen, and amen. Amen, amen, amen. Well, thank God for your truth and love. Man, I thank God for you. I pray that you um, have received those prayers. I pray uh, that you did not disconnect from the moment, uh, but no, get locked in. And, and I don't have any pre-prescribed <laughs> prayers other than uh, the target prayer that we have for the week. And I, just, I, I had that and I, and I just kind of set that to the side and we'll get to that when we get to it. And I just pray. And so whatever, whatever it is that come up, that's what come up. And so we just need to uh, know when it comes up that that's God, that God is talking to us and God is speaking to us in whatever area. And I know we covered a lot, talked about a lot, um, but God is, is faithful. He knows what we need. So uh, I thank God for you and I love y'all. I appreciate you. Uh, listen, we're going to have discipleship development classes um, uh, tonight at 7 p.m. Uh, make sure that's those in-house, those are, that's Zoom as well. Uh, make sure that you be a part of that and, and do what you need to do to become the disciple that Jesus called you to be. Um, of course, we have noonday worship experience tomorrow. If you're working at night, if, if you are, um, if you're retired or whatever the case may be, come be a part of our noonday worship experience. We're in John chapter five and God is just blessing us. There's going to be a, a lunch and learn afternoon day tomorrow for all of our seasoned saints. You can be able to get plugged in and, and be connected there. Uh, so so that's extra incentive for you to come be a part of what it is we got going on at noon. Uh, singles ministry is going to be um, in full swing on Thursday night at 7 p.m. Uh, you, they, they're talking about trauma and things of that nature. Um, and then we have our, our young adult ministry TLC on Friday night. There's no excuse not to get plugged in right here. We got all our ministries on full swing. Um, and then we have outreach going to be in Callaway Cove on Saturday. So I thank God for you. I appreciate you. 
Um, so plug in, look on group me to keep up with the announcements, get our, get, get connected with our email news, go to our website. It's all on our website under the tab events, everything that we have going on. Um, uh, I get our app. You can be able to get to, to keep up with us in that way. Um, so God is just good. Market calendars. Um, this is something I forgot to make mention of Sunday, but later C and I put out a video, March the 31st is going to be a night of empowerment. Um, it's going to be a, a worship experience. Lady she, C's giving leadership to that. That's a Friday night, March 31st at 7 PM. Market calendars for that is going to be worship. It's going to be the word of the Lord. It's going to be a phenomenal time. So market calendars, March 31st at 7 PM. I love y'all. I thank God for you. Make sure you post on group me, uh, and let, let folk know we got a culture of prayer. I thank God for y'all. Talk to you later. Here come to church. Bye bye.